Welcome to Beating Cancer Daily. Beating stage four cancer for 30 years still takes my breath away every time I say it. I'm Saren, founder of the Comedy Cures Foundation, and I hope you'll join me for just a few minutes daily for the next 365 days so we may laugh, learn, maybe cry a little as we live our best days beating cancer daily together. Every nutritionist is going to love this episode. (laughs) Did you ever consider saying a blessing over your food? Now, some of you may already do this. So I grew up hearing a quote from Hippocrates that was, let food be thy medicine and let medicine be thy food. But about 10 years ago, there was some research done that said that that quote really emerged in the 1900s and became very popular in the 70s. So I thought, okay, well, I can't attribute that quote anymore. (laughs) But there is a different quote by Hippocrates from a writing that they have been able to trace. And here's the quote, in food, excellent medicine can be found. In food, bad medicine can be found. Good and bad are relative. So that quote resonates with me. It just does. And I do believe that just by eating something, My body either feels energetic and responsive and light and just alive, or I can eat something and my body just feels sluggish and uncomfortable and icky. That's a medical term, icky. (laughs) So I do look at food in this way, that it can be something that is physically, emotionally, and mentally beneficial to me, and that that feels somewhat special, or in my case, it does feel holy. Now, why am I bringing this up? I do say blessings over my food, and I say them for so many reasons, And I'm not trying to proselytize anybody or make anybody religious, but we eat all day long. We do acknowledge that that food becomes the fuel of our body, mind, and spirit. So I think there's something really important when that act is happening. And I think that act is wholly not in the religious sense of having to say a prayer out of holiness to religion, even though I do, but because the fact that we can eat something that was made maybe somewhere across the world, and then somehow our body processes that, which is a complete miracle. And then that process of food becomes our life force in whatever way our body uses it. And then our body, God willing, knows how to get rid of what we don't need. All of that just seems like a big old miracle to me. So there are a few reasons why I say a blessing before food. One is that I want to pause and I want to be in the moment of eating what I'm eating. And when I stop and pause and say a blessing before I eat that food, it really makes me stop the crazy of my day, right? The frenetic pace that I go at, I'm a workaholic, right? So it makes me stop for a moment in the crazy pace of my day and just be at one with the food. Literally be in the moment of eating that food. And what have I discovered? The food tastes better. I get to actually taste the food. 
And some of you may have gotten our newsletter and seen that there is a beautiful food expert named Ellen Thur. Ellen is a cancer survivor that I actually helped her beat advanced cancer. And she does these incredible meals that I get to partake in. She's also taught me a lot too, but I get to eat her food. And honestly, her food tastes like a holy experience. She is so present and loves doing organic, plant-based, vegan meals so exquisitely that I get to eat this woman's food. And it does feel holy. The next thing is that I say a prayer because I want that food that I'm going to eat to cause no harm to my body and actually bring me all the nutrition that I need to stay healthy, to stay happy, to stay energetic, and not eat anything that's going to cause my body to break down or cause my immune system to hiccup. Because I personally don't want to have to go through the cancer journey again if I don't have to. And there's so many studies that show that certain foods and certain chemicals can have an adverse effect on the immune system and on the body. Lastly, I'm just grateful to still be here against unbelievable odds. They told me to get my affairs in order that there was nothing more they could do and my days were numbered. And the fact that I was misdiagnosed 30 years ago and diagnosed 24 years ago, and I have the grace of being here cancer-free to talk to you every day, I think is a miracle. So I take that moment when I eat, and I eat usually five small meals a day, I take those five moments to be very grateful to my creator. You can have whatever creator you want or not have a creator, (laughs) but I take those few moments before I eat all day long to just be grateful to be here, to be able to taste that food. Because remembering COVID, some people couldn't even taste their food, that I get to digest my food and that I get to excrete my food without much thought, much trouble. And I think all that is just a miracle. So I do bless my food. And I do think what Hippocrates said was true. In food, excellent medicine can be found. In food, bad medicine can be found. Good and bad are relative. I hope that you all have a beautiful gastronomic experience today, whatever that is, and that you take a minute and are grateful for the blessings. If you have a special blessing that you say before you eat, or you have a certain relationship with food that you would like me to know about that I could learn and adopt, then go to comedycures.org and hit the record button and talk to me or go to the write us button and write to me. I love to hear your feedback. Have a blessed day and I'll see you tomorrow. If you've enjoyed this podcast, then I'd love to ask for you to go to comedycures.org and check out our membership circle levels. You will find even more resources and more programming, like our live virtual Q&A sessions with me, our live Comedy Cures events with our very talented comedians, live health builder workshops with Jackie Bryan hosted by me, a robust monthly newsletter, plus much more. It's really an exciting community. So please consider becoming a member, giving it as a gift, telling your friends, telling your hospital support group all about this community. I can't think of a more empowering way to go through a cancer journey or your survivorship 
or your caregiving experience than with us at Beating Cancer Daily. It's truly an honor to serve you. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow. Guess what time it is? It's time for me to read the disclaimer. Beating Cancer Daily and the Membership Circle are not in lieu of medical advice or treatment. They are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your healthcare team to review your best strategy. Thanks for listening.